what's up you guys and welcome to my channel enter the dungeon and in today's video i'm going to be talking about ohm forks that i'm tracking for the end of november these are all extremely early plays many of them have not been launched some of them we don't know a lot of information about some of them have just launched and like this one up here that i'm looking at right here have insane current apy numbers i mean i don't even think that's a real number I don't think it's a pronounceable number, but let's get right into this, okay? First, the disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not giving you any financial advice. Anything that you learn on this channel is education purposes only, okay? And I'm not even going to go a step further. Every coin, token, or project that I mention on this channel, you should not buy. You should just stay away from, okay? These are all super high-risk plays. These are this is the kind of stuff you would only want to throw a few dollars at, the kind of money that you can afford to lose. This stuff is all super degenerate, super risky, and all coming out of the deep, dark woods of the anonymous DeFi forest, okay? So this is stuff is for the apes out there. Now, do me a favor, since you're here, hit like, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell button, and you'll be one of the first people to get these Dirty Degenerate DeFi drops on your phone, okay? Do me a big favor, too. If you're the type of person who prefers to get this stuff over email, go to my site, dungeon.fyi. I'll send you one to two emails per week with all the calls I'm looking at, all the projects I'm looking at. I promise I won't send you a ton of emails. Once or twice a week, you'll get an email from me, okay? So, let's dive into this now that we've gotten all that stuff out of the way. What are we lurking at ohm forks that i'm tracking for the end of this year okay let's start with number one babylon dow okay we don't know a lot about this yet so far babylon dow has been in the pre-launch stage for about a month now i've been in their discord for quite a while it, their discord is insane there's like fifty thousand people in there right now They've gamified it. There's a lot of rituals and there's a lot of all kinds of wild esoteric stuff happening. Their website has not been launched, but what we do, so therefore, you know, it's not launched, so we don't know the APY or anything like that, right? But what we do know is it's an ohm fork on Solana. Now, I don't know if that's technically possible because as far as I know, Solana is not EVM compatible, which means it's probably not an ohm fork. They've probably had to rebuild or rewrite that code. I could be wrong about that. So if you're super technical, let me know in the comments um, how that really works. The status right now is not launched. Where to buy will probably, my guess will be on Radium where you can swap soul assets. You can go to their Discord, discord.gg slash Babylon DAO. And what we know right now is essentially um, they do have a Notion site up. They've got some FAQs up. Um, real quick, what they state that they are is an Olympus DAO fork on the Solana blockchain. More in depth, Babylon DAO is the best reserve currency on Solana. For more details on what does building a reserve currency mean, go check out this article. Um, you know, whitelist stuff so they say that they're doing a fair launch no one got allocation by being early or being a vc a venture capitalist with influence um they've got a lot of stuff in here so this is a good place to start um there's three different role types that actually got early adopter status in the dao so my suggestion to you if you're interested in this project we don't know a lot about it right now but i will drop in the comments of this video a link to their discord okay so you can hop over and you know just start to get a little bit of conviction again high risk play we don't really know anything about this project it's steeped in a lot of mysterious language and that kind of stuff so when i see a lot of that stuff i usually take a step back and try to ask myself what's really going on here why all the mystique why all the mystery why all the smoke and mirrors okay so let's go to the next one all right pi dow next on the list i just came across this one this morning currently 
It has a 158,000% APY. It literally just launched. It's on the BSC network, which is awesome for a lot of people because a lot of people are, you know, have their funds locked up on BNB. They don't transact on the Ethereum network. Gas fees are super low. There's not a ton of these forks on on the BSC network. I'm in a few and I know about a few like Gyro and Zeus. But this is another one that's just launched. And as far as I know, you're pretty early to this project. Okay, their Discord only has a few hundred people in it. You can buy it on PancakeSwap. You can also, I'll drop the Discord link below for them. You can jump in there. Let's take a look at their website real quick. Standard looking ohm fork website. We got all the same stuff that you usually see. As far as I can tell, they're forking these websites too. I don't know if they can even build their own websites. So the decentralized reserve currency again on BSC. So you can come in here, you can buy the token on PancakeSwap. You can go in here, you can connect your wallet. You'll need to have MetaMask pretty much for all of these projects. Current APY at 115, 159,000%. So you'll have to go, I would go through um, right up here. You can find the link that they list to go buy it. I would definitely go through this link from their website and not click on any mysterious links out there on the web. So you would go down here to buy it, Pancake Swap. And then you would swap from BUSD, which is a stable coin on the BSC network, to PID. And you would come back here, you would connect your wallet. The process to stake is basically the same in all of these OHM forks. If you have the token in your wallet, two transactions to approve and then stake, and then you're staked, and then it rebases usually three times a day for most of these automatically. You don't really have to do anything after that except for watch the price, okay? So this one looks pretty good if you're more interested in the BIC, or excuse me, the BSC projects. All right, let's move on to the next one. Needy Dow, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Nitty, needy, I don't know how to pronounce it. So this one I've had my eye on and I've been in this project discord for quite some time and they were just lagging compared to a lot of the other ones like Rome and all these other projects that have launched, but they've launched now and they have an APY currently that is uh, literally, I cannot even pronounce this number, okay? Even Google can't fit this entire number inside the spreadsheet. It's pretty nuts. So Nitty Dow is, all, is on the Polygon network, so you'll need the Polygon network connected to your MetaMask. They literally just launched. So this is like some serious, serious alpha. If you're an APY hunter, this is something to look at right now. Is it a rug? I have no idea, man. Do your own research, right? Be a big boy or a big girl and ape responsibly, okay? So where can you buy it? I couldn't really find it. So I'm wondering, I honestly, I'm wondering if it's just early um, early backers or whitelisters right now who are actually buying and trading this somewhere that I couldn't find. Um, you can get into their Discord, discord.gg slash Nitty Dow. I'll drop the link for that as well below. But let's just take a look at this because this is crazy. Like when I look at this number, it's almost like, man, this is just a joke or something. This isn't a real number. That's just a funny made up number, right? Like how do you even, I, I mean, I've seen some crazy degenerate APY numbers in the last couple weeks as I start diving into this stuff. This one takes the cake. I'm going to be real with you guys. I mean, it's insane, right? So let's take a look again. Same. Okay, so I'm on their staking page. It looks like it's maybe still in development. So what you're going to want to do with this project is go into their Discord and start asking questions. How do I get it? How do I stake it? What's going on? It could just be that I need to connect my wallet here to be able to see these numbers. But it looks like possibly this is still being developed, right? So now is the time to get into their Discord and start doing some research on Nitty. Dow. I've seen a lot of information on this one coming out on Twitter too. Like people are definitely talking about it. It's on Polygon, which is a huge boon again for a lot of us because the gas fees are basically zero. Okay. So let's keep ticking along here. Remember on this one, be 
careful, guys, please. Okay, Tempo Dow. Now, I've done a video on this one already because it's so early. You can go back to my channel and find my video on Tempo Dow. This one's so early that there's no website, there's no APY. Again, this one, like many of these forks, is on Avalanche. I have personally seen something like 25 Avalanche ohm forks just in the last week. So, you know, what's really going on here? This is meme season all over again, right? As far as I'm concerned, all of these coins, all of these ohm forks are just meme projects. If you're putting serious money into these and you are really investing in these because you think you're going to become massively rich or something like that, I would check your priorities a little bit. All right. So as far as I'm, as far as I know, pre-launch, and this is super early. So if you're whitelist hunting there, as far, when I checked this morning, there were still at least 60 to 40 whitelist spots available. So jump through my discord link below and i don't know how you can get that whitelist spot maybe maybe create some dank memes or something like that um so it's, it will probably trade on trader joe that's my best guess that's where most avalanche projects are trading on i don't have a website to show you guys about tempo dow now but again check out my video on them okay so that's the best you can do so let's keep moving forward here giza dow okay I got in real early on this one, and it has been a very interesting ride so far. Let me show you their website real quick. They've got a website up, and they're doing something very different from a lot of these forks. They've built an entire test net process for the early users, so people can go on and actually test their product right through the test net, okay? So you can see here, they have an entire IDO testnet participation list for the people who are using this. And I do really like this because it gives the early backers conviction that there's a working product. It hasn't been 100% smooth. I've gone through and done all these steps myself. But because of that, it gives the developers all the bugs or anything they need to do to make it smooth. So I think that's pretty cool. So there was, thir there was 12 steps to swap and migrate and to do all these different things that you'll need to do at the day of launch. So this was all done on the Phantom test net. So Giza DAO will be on the Phantom network. It's pre-launch right now. It's in the testing phase. I don't have any idea where you'll be able to buy it. And you can go jump in the Discord right now. You can check out the website, gizadao.com. And you can go to discord.gg slash dow. Currently, it's in pre-launch and they're testing the DAP. Okay, so this one also suffered from an early break in the leadership in the Discord. So this definitely made a few people nervous. Um, there was one uh, like community leader in the Discord called King Tut. And there was a public break where he left the server. I don't know if it was an amicable break or a bad break or anything like this, but this definitely threw off a few of the early members who were in there and who liked King Tut's style. I don't know what that says. So again, be careful, do your own research. It always pays in advance to be really, you know, learning about this stuff and going deep and not just aping in. Okay, so let's move on to my number one pick for everybody for still early, right? So this Rome DAO, let's talk a little bit about this one. This project, ton of hype. And again, I also have a video on Rome DAO, so you can scroll back through my videos and find that. Website is up and badass at RomeDAO.finance. There's no APY yet because Right now, it is in the price discovery phase where the whitelisters and the early the early backers and people who bought it during the pre-launch phase are trading the price to try to understand what it should be launched at publicly. So from what we know right now, you this will launch publicly sometime around the 28th to the 30th. However, 
it is still possible right now to get in, but you won't be buying Rome. You won't be buying their ticker Rome. You will be buying a Rome, which is essentially the Alpha Rome token. And that and, and a Rome will be able to be traded for a one to one for Rome when it once it launches. OK, so Rome DAO is on the Moon River network, which I think is awesome. It's my first time working on Moon River, and I think it's pretty great. It is in the pre-launch stage. You'll be able to buy it on solarbeam.io. In fact, you can buy right now. Again, you can buy Alpha Rome, not Rome, with the Frax pair. Okay, so if you have Frax, you can literally go right now and buy a Rome, and then once it launches publicly, you'll be able to trade at a one-to-one -one rate a Rome to Rome. It's a little confusing, but look at it just sort of like a test process that they're doing right now before they go completely live. You can get into their Discord at discord.gg slash Finance. And let's take a look at their website because I'm just super bullish on this project. It's been an amazing ride so far in their Discord, in the chat, on Twitter. The memes are fire. Everything is badass. Um, they're really making something special here, which I can't say for a lot of these ohm forks, okay? So they're truly gamifying this process. It's Rome has been split into basically sub-DAOs. Uh, there's the House of Console, the House of Grapes, Chaos, Sempronia, Keck. Shout out to my Keckors, okay? So basically, these individual houses are helping to decide and, and basically push forward policy and ideas and strategies in their various realms of knowledge. Like console is policymaker. Um, Keck is all the memers out there, all the marketers, all the people making all the fire memes. Um, you've got Chaos DAO, which are people, people coming in from the Chaos DAO. And there's just so much going on here. It's just like a really cool experience. There's 30,000 plus members in the Discord. But to be clear, whitelist is over, okay? You can't get in on the whitelist. Um, you can, remember, you can go get a Rome right now, and that could be a good buy going into the launch. All right, so, guys, I hope you appreciated this. If enough of you come into the comments and say, hey, Sam, give me that spreadsheet. I want that spreadsheet. I might drop the spreadsheet for you guys in the in the comment or in the disc description or something like that but only if enough of you guys want it okay so i hope this i hope this shed a little bit of light on some cool projects that i'm looking at right now again please do your own research i don't want to be responsible for you like aping your mortgage this month into some crazy dow okay most of these will probably fail i don't know if they're going to be rugged i don't know if they're going to just go off i don't know anything so i will See you guys on the next video.